Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and today we are in Mount Verde with new luxury construction in Bella Colina by DreamFinders with the Milan floor plan that is behind me. This is home features a four bedroom, three and a half bathrooms, two car garage, 2801 square feet, and priced at the time of video at 959,459. Now, there is an incentive at the time of this video which is 50,000 off the price of the home, but that can change next year, next month, tomorrow. So give us a call at 407-790-0929 to see where that incentive lies. Now, the HOA in this community is $310 per month. The club fee, which is a sport package, is 400 per month, and the CDD is $2,100 per year. Now, they are also building this floor plan in Claremont. So if Claremont is your desired location, again, give us a call at that number that I mentioned previously. But enough of that, hit the subscribe and alert because it does help us out. And let's go see this home. All right, guys, so here we are at the front of the Milan. And before we start getting into the home, if Pam, you could just turn around and see the golf courses in this community. As you can see, the little food truck and beverage uh, lady going away on the little golf course path to our right also I wanted the aesthetics of the community with the houses that are nearby is beautiful all the way in the distance if you can see the American flag is the luxurious clubhouse in this community and and then now let's get towards the house now now towards the house you can see that the house is has pavers all the way from the skirt all the sidewalks in this community will be pavered as well and leading up to your home which the milan has this beautiful dark colored set doors with glass as you can see on the top side also the stonework in the front the flat roof line love it right but as we come to the front of the home on its own pathway we have a foyer system here i even like the plaques they use for the numbers that's very nice little night you know it's always the little touches right but we also have this foyer system here where you can have a bench for sitting or maybe a bench to hide your amazon packages but in a community like this you don't even have to hide it let's be honest <laughs> now we have a blue door again pam another blue one but i do like the shaker style that they did to this door so it does have some depth and texture to it love the uh, black handles we don't have a combo lock but the lock is nice you can put that for like 50 bucks. Let's go inside. <laughs> All right, guys. So when you step into Milan, the Milan, we have two windows here for natural lighting into the hallway. We have your two car garage here. I love the um, slate tile that they put on the floor with that marble effect look, right? Very nice. But you can tell that the hallways are very open. Go ahead, Pam. They're six by 14. Six by 14 is just the entry point hallway, which is, which is right really here. nice. Yeah, you can even look, you can even put a, little centerpiece here and then as we go back i'm going to go past pam at the tip of the hallway we have our first powder room which pam is going to show you and i do like the finishes such as the pendant lighting is really nice the mirror do we have that quartz top and that dark cabinetry with our commode on the corner and a window in there and as we get to this point you do see the stairs and the rest of the home but we're going to turn to the left real quick go ahead pam 20 foot ceilings. Oh, let's show them, let's show them. 20 foot ceilings in the center of the stairway part of the home that flows out to the second story part, which is really nice. We're gonna get to all that in a minute, right? But let's go to the left. And here is your downstairs primary bedroom suite. It is very large. Pam, what's the size? 15 by 13. 15 by 13, two windows here for natural lighting. Of course, large furniture. The king size bed fits easily. You see all the furniture here, very nice and large. We do have a walk-in closet here on the side. 
which is 11 by 15. 11 by 15. I don't know what's with large mirrors, but they got these large mirrors today. <laughs> it's a little freaky to me. <laughs> we also flow into our primary bath suite. And guys, this is killer, right? Look at the freestyle tub. Love it, love that it's put in the corner. We also have three porthole windows to give natural lighting to the space. Very nice, right? If we go to the right, we see our mirror, pendant lighting, the same quartz top in the other bathroom, but light cabinets now. And we have a sit down area here, right? Nice. So that is very nice. Black, the black hardware just tops it off really nice. We go back to the left. We have the herringbone style tile in the freestanding shower, which is beautiful, seamless glass, rainfall shower head, hardware is black as well, niche with the Schluter edging, which is beautiful. And then behind me, the all purposeful commode. Yeah, I didn't think I would like the dark back wall on the shower, but, but it looks it good. Looks really smart. Yeah, yeah, really Not sharp. Smart, sharp. Sharp. sharp, sharp. <laughs> Guys, follow us out. We're gonna run through the primary once more. And the reason why we hit the primary first, because it's up in the front of the home. But just to let you know, I like that they put the little knockouts. That's really nice. And as we proceed, we're gonna pass our stairway, right? Just for a second, as we open up into our open areas of the home. And this is the family gathering room here. Very nice size, right? You can imagine where your big TV will go. <laughs> Right, so there we go there. We have nice chandelier, but this is a good size for the family to be cozy, which also flows up out into your kitchen area where we have this gorgeous island. Now take notice, right? With luxury, you see things in the, in the island like the waterfall edge, which means that your granite just continues down, right? I love that feature. We have our farm sink here, squared off, very large, gooseneck industrial style. Right? Go ahead, Pam. The island is seven by four. Seven by four, so you can fit three people comfortably there. No problem. We do have a gas community, so here is your range. This is a five burner range, right? We also have our range hood that exhausts out to the outside of the home. Love the backsplash. That new age looking uh, octagon, hexagon, squared, coffin-like. <laughs> Uh, backsplash, but they have modern cabinetry with the flat surface, right? Very nice. With the display cabinets here, and then above the refrigerator, we have our overhang with our KitchenAid stainless steel refrigerator here. Now, we also have cabinetry here, I, I wanna show you, like this one would be considered the pail, the pail cabinet for garbage, right there maybe you should recycle and this is garbage and then maybe recycle there or maybe pans, flat pans. Or um, oven rack things. Oven racks as well, yes. So, and then here's our sink that we told you before, but also our dishwasher here, but we also have our gourmet double stack, right? Regular oven, convection oven, and we have more cabinetry here. And of course your doggy draw. <laughs> now that flows out into your formal dining area. Now we have the two windows here, two windows here. So there's four windows that surround this area, letting in natural light, right? So this could be the breakfast nook, informal maybe. Um, we do have a serving tray here and that, I mean, cadenza here. Now this only means that you can fit something this big here and that's how much space you have. I mean, look how that side is. There's a lot of space there. And then there's enough space to put this and you still pull your chair out, so. Lots of space, guys, lots of space. We do have the nice uh, light feature here, but let's flow out towards our patio lanai area. Now, guys, here we are. This is also pavered like the front of the home. Now, obviously, when you get this home and you buy this home, you'll have it only pavered out to right here. But this is just showing you what you could do with the rest of your backyard. Maybe there's a fire pit out there at some point, right? And of course, the views in this community is what really counts. Look at the golf course view, conservation behind the golf course view. Very, very nice. You can see people golfing. <laughs> <laughs> so that is very cool. And then just a little description right here. I know they put a cadenza right here, 
But if you can see the exhaust, that would be for your summer kitchen if you ever built one up. So all your attachments, water, electrical, gas line, C GFCs are all here so that it makes it easier for you to convert this into a summer kitchen, especially with that exhaust, right? All right, guys, so let's come back through. We're gonna come back through the home and now it is time to go upstairs. So we're gonna go upstairs, I'll meet you up there and I'll let you know what's around the area. All right, guys, as we head up the stairs, Publix is 15 minutes from this location. West Orange Trail is 25 minutes from this location. Downtown Orlando is 30 minutes door to door. Disney parks are 30 minutes door to door as well. And Orlando Airport MCO is 35 minutes door to door from this location. All right guys, so here we are on the second floor of the Milan and I just wanted to show you what that 20 foot ceiling brings you. It's that openness airy feel that you get when you look over the banister with this beautiful chandelier up to your ceiling. And then just keep in mind guys, that you have 18, um, eight, well nine feet on the first floor, nine feet on the second floor. So it is a great expansive feel and feels very open and fresh. Now we have a window right above, right next to the stairway when we come up. And then of course we have our loft area here with our bay windows here with the decorative edging because it faces the front of the home. Now, how big is this space, Pam? This is 13 by 18. 13 by 18. So you see you can have enough space to do what you want. It could be an entertainment space. It could be a study area that way it's designed now with the desk, right? But I would personally put a man cave up here or some kind of seating media area. Uh, of course, you have the high plugs. So just in case you wanted to put your 80 foot, 80 inch TV here, not 80 foot. 80, 80 inch, foot would be fantastic. It, it would be bigger than the house. <laughs> but 80 inch TV here, right? So you can have all your, if you're a sports guy or your sports center stuff running. Yeah, I like these windows. Yeah, the windows are pretty, very nice. Now guys, heading back this way, just wanna show you, you do have an electrical outlet here on the floor. So if you decide to put a uh, power seating over here, you would have the option to have some power seats here. Now going forward, we have a small closet here. Very nice. And as we enter the princess of the home's room, this is a princess suite, AKA ensuite, right? As you can tell, right? Love this light pink on the walls, but you have enough room for a desk, full size bed and a side table and a bench where Pam is standing. But I'm gonna close this door because you have two picture windows here for natural lighting. And I do like the little step down shelf they put here. Very nice. But before we forget and reopen this door for your walk-in closet. And now what, go ahead, Pam. What makes It's how big 12 is by 15. 12 by 15. And now what makes this a princess suite or an ensuite is that Pam is gonna show you the bathroom that is attached to this room. Very nice. So we have the pendant lighting, mirror, you have the cabinetry, the hard surface top. We have our bath, freestanding bath here. With the glass, <laughs> glass paneling. Love the tile that goes all the way up. And then we have another window when you're uh, exiting the room here. I'm getting mumble jumbled today, guys. <laughs> now we move forward. And the first closet in this hallway where you can look down over the railing is your utility closet. Very nice. Stepping next to that is our large laundry room. With a unique floor plan. Yeah, yeah. The worn away look is very nice. Instead of pattern. I know we're both we're My both gosh. fumbling today. Forget us guys, don't worry about it. <laughs> you know what we're saying. <laughs> So um, it does have the cabinetry window. I love the, that rectangle window. Um, I do like the hard quartz tops, the gray cabinetry. We have a utility sink here, and obviously this is where your washer and dryer will go. It, it just really put together very nicely. And as we proceed, and I just failed to mention that the flooring up here is that full wood LTV, which is very nice for a second floor, and that matches that railing really nice. But then we're gonna to turn to this corner to the left and we have a linen closet here, which services the full functioning bathroom here where we have our vanity, pendant lighting mirror again, hard surface tops, matches the laundry room perfectly with that beautiful tiling on the floor. There's your tub, 
Love the hexagon tiles all the way up with the transom window. Very lovely. Black features with the equipment. Very nice. Very nice. Love that. As we flow into the bedroom that's next to that bathroom, right? So big room. What's the size of this bedroom, Pam? 13 by 13. 13 by 13. And we also have two windows here for natural lighting in between a full-size bed, nightstands, and a walk-in closet. And a deep walk-in closet. This, this house does not spare any expense with storage. But what's nice too is the doors are the eight foot. Yes, so all the doors are eight foot features, upstairs and downstairs, very nice. Now, as we proceed in, we have one more utility closet right here that Pam is gonna show you. Right, and then we have another bedroom here, which is very nice. Look at look how much light comes in from the two windows here. Very nice, full size bed, nice stands, and another walk in closet on this side. And as you're showing that closet, Pam, how big exactly is this room? 13 by 13. 13 by 13 is the size of this bedroom. Now, I know you want to stay with us all day, guys, but unfortunately, that is the Milan. I do have some more tidbits of information for you, and here's some more. Just stay with us, and I'll get with you right now. All right, guys, that was the Milan floor plan here at Bella Colina by DreamFinders. I hope you love this home, and if it does and it makes sense for you and your family, please give me a call at 407-790-0929. And of course, if this video has brought you any kind of value, please hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.